little different, all the different sounds. In the studio with is recorded at Conrad Photography in beautiful Lawrencetown, Nova Scotia. Hi, my name is Paul Lamb and this is my mid-70s Gibson Les Paul Signature Gold Top Guitar. Yeah, I, I, I bought this guitar, I'm going to say uh, around two, I've had this guitar for about 15, 16 years now, 15 or 16 years. And um, huh, it's Okay. It, it, oddly enough, this is the second of this ex guitar that I've had in my lifetime. My, my father had one when I was a kid, probably 12, 13 years old, and I had it in my possession for a while. Never saw it for years, and then I came back into it at one particular time, about you know 17 years ago, 16, 17 years ago. And I had it briefly for a few weeks, and uh, you know, there's a giant story that goes along with it, but so-and-so... And so and so and so and so said such and such, and the guitar wasn't mine to uh, to keep, so I gave it back to its rightful owner. And um, not even two or three weeks later, I walk into a store, and here's the exact guitar hanging on the wall, but in way better condition than the one I had in the first place. Uh, so I bought it right away because I've never seen another one other than this one and that original one that my father owned when I was a kid. So okay, there's a bunch of cool things. So I mean, it's it's got a three-piece neck, which is quite different. So two maple neck, it's mahogany, uh, back and sides. Um, I, I, what I really like about this tar is how versatile it is because. It has, number one, it has two outputs on it, you see it. So this is the regular output on the top of the guitar. On the side, it has a low, it has a low output, a low impedance output here. Um, this guitar has the pickup, the three-way, you know, pickup selector here as well. It has volume, it has a tone. Uh, really cool feature when it's in the center position with both pickups on, you can take the phase in and out with this button here, which... When it's out of phase, it just gives it this very thin, I'm a stratty kind of kind of vibe to the sound. And another really cool feature I love is there's an impedance switch right here. Uh, it goes from 50 to 200 to 500, which changes the load going out. And basically, you can have a very light output, almost like a, similar to single coil pickups, and then like a P90 kind of sound, and then like full-fledged, you know, um, Gibson Les Paul driving loud uh, output pickups. So between all of those features, it just it's a very versatile guitar, and I just love the look of it. It's just it's so cool. The, the trapezoid, uh, you know, the shapes on the neck here, and the oversized headstock. <laughs> So I actually used this guitar on my solo album called Get To What's Real. Um, and I'm in the studio now doing a new album called The Prize. And I will definitely be using this guitar as well on a couple of those tracks. Do you ever go through a phase 
early on when you hated the sound of your own voice? Uh, that phase has never ended for me. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I really struggle with that. It's a, it's a struggle, time. isn't it? It is a struggle, yeah. Everybody hates the sound of their own voice. Yeah, and, and it's, it's very tough. I could be on stage singing a song and I can I'm listening to my voice come back to the PA and I'm thinking, wow my voice I'm singing great tonight, my voice sounds great. Wow, it sounds good, like it sounds really good to me. That exact performance could be recorded. I listen back afterwards and think I should quit singing just play guitar. Like it's that bad. It's really weird. It's a strange thing. I used guitar when I was in a band called Crush, um, and luckily enough for me, knock on wood, this guitar had never had any incidents. Nothing has ever happened to it. It's uh, remained intact, unlike another Les Paul that I had, that I bought at a week old, and our guitar tech put it in a guitar stand that didn't know he, that it locked, and it fell over, snapped the headstock off, and I only had it for one week, and it was brand new. It broke my heart. But this one. I, I've kind of babied this one though, I really kind of do. I, um, if I walk off stage, I take it like this. When I go to bed, it's like this. You know, so pretty much the guitar goes everywhere I go. Crush, when we played King for a Day, it was Les Paul. At that, you know, the chorus starts up and that chorus says And it's like you're enjoying this series and I hope you'll share and subscribe. If you'd like to follow Paul's adventures, I'll put his links in the description. And if you'd like to support this channel, those links will be there too. Here comes the next episode of In the Studio With.